Live at four. Let's look at the store. It's time for offer review time. First things first. I uh, just did a quick poll to chat. Real time arena. Five days in. Not a scientific poll at all. But 52% say they love it. 48% say they hate it. So that is not. Um, to me, that means that RTA is a miss. If uh, I would expect at least, you know, I'm going to say that there's probably, no matter what new game mode they came out, I'm going to say there's probably at least 30% of the players are going to hate it no matter what. So I was expecting a number, you know, for this to be a success somewhere in the 60, 60, 70% area. But if it's coming in at 52%, that means there's a lot of people not really feeling it. Looks like matchmaking. I think the the quitting problem, they, they, they proposed three solutions to, to making it better. We'll, we'll see if uh, once those three solutions are implemented. Plus, I think, um, um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, once people get through it and start playing it and start min-maxing and figuring out what way they like to play it the most and getting through the objectives, and a couple weeks have gone by, I think it might be a little different too. So we'll see. Uh, the jury's out, though, on uh, RTA. It's not like um, everybody's in love with it. That's for sure. Very controversial, very polarizing at this time. All right, so they're 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 starting to do some lower offers on ISO eight, and so what this means to me is that the the initial anchor pricing on ISO eight has gone through, and now they're starting to offer some discounts. So you're gonna have to give me a pass on a lot of these ISO eight pricings today until I get some valuations up and running for you. Uh, but these are better pricing than before. So the way that I, we're going to look at this is like we're going to try to come to some sort of pricing on the premium, the basic on these ISO 8s. Uh, but right now I have not been buying them because I've been finding that what I really need is is ions more than the ISO 8s. So, uh, you know, if we want to look at this from a Red Star point of view, at best I'm valuing Red Stars at $2 a piece. So that means they're worth about 14 bucks. So about half of this offer so they're giving us a price here of two bucks a piece for each orb. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And this is coming from somebody that has, I have almost my entire roster at three stars right now. And I'm starting to look at my characters that I want to take to gear tier 15 into Dark Dimension 4. And I'm starting to look at them and say, hey, what do I need to get them up to ISO level 4? What do I need to get to them to ISO level 5? And so maybe this is where... Uh, you know, the, the pricing comes down, but 40% off. This is better pricing than they've offered on ISO 8. I mean, it's been ISO 8. They've given no deals yet. ISO 8 super bundle gets six ISO premium orbs when you buy now. Okay. So this is, this is confusing. You know, they've got two premium ISO 8s. Then we've got an ion orb and then we've got two basic orbs. So these are the basic orbs like that we get through our daily activities. And so. I'll get back to you on this. I have, I've not assessed any pri uh, pricing because it seemed like it was all horrific. And frankly, you know, selling ISO 8 without ions doesn't seem that great anyways. Like, uh, why would I want to do that? What I really need is ions. Ions is the main choke point. It's like, I don't know what it's like. It's like selling us training mats without gold or something. You know, it's like, what's the point? You know, that's cool that we got all these ions, but I uh, need the training materials. So there we go. ISO 8 orb on them, three ISO 8 premium orbs when you buy now. Yeah, I don't know. Without the ions, I don't see the point in this, to be honest with you. Legacy orb bundle. So you get five legacy orbs for two bucks. Uh, I'm not going to buy this, but let me say, I will say this. There, there is gold and there is purple gear in here. So if you're a new player, it's probably a good value. So you can pick up some of the legacy characters that... Most veteran players already have maxed out. Uh, but And I just will say there is gold and there is purple materials in there. But uh, that's not a lot of orbs. What is that? 10 orbs? Uh, I guess that's probably a good deal. 10 orbs for 2 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 10 orbs for 10 bucks. Yeah. They've done like 50k for 2 bucks before though. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, it's just, uh, I'll, I'll, what I'll do right now is, and, I, and I'm going to ask chat right now, what do you, what, if anybody that opened this, how much gold and how many purple pieces did you get? And then, then I'll give that number and then people can decide for themselves. Somebody just said they got 50 purple gear, but no gold. Okay. Well, that's no good. Someone said they got 25 pieces of purple gear and 180 K gold. Someone said they got 240 K. Someone said they got 40 60k gold and 40k purple materials 
All right, so 60K gold and uh, 40 purple materials, 50, 50 purple materials. Okay, so for two bucks, you can get, you know, somewhere about 60,000 gold and maybe about 50 purple gold, uh, purple uh, training mats. Okay, I'm not gonna buy it though. I'm, I'm stocked. What I really need is just straight up gold orbs at this point in time. I really don't need, uh, they need to get rid of that, that, this right here says there's that by purchasing here right above this right here right above this there's a button so annoying uh crowd pleaser orb okay so this okay i just did a video on shatter star and long shot and uh they seem pretty over the top they seem pretty over top to me check out the video um as far as the six new characters that are being released over this patch these two here seem the most interesting at this time at high red stars at high gold stars, which I'm not gonna do. So I, I, I don't know what to do with these guys because I'm not gonna wail on them. I'm just not. But uh, the barrier and the turn meter mechanics that they have in their passives kind of reminds me of Symbiotes 2.0. You know, and this is just two pieces. What if they had the third piece and the fourth piece and the fifth piece? And if they're all getting barrier and turn meter like crazy, uh, that's kind of interesting. I, I just want to see what the whole kit, whole piece of it looks like, you know? Anyways, so yeah, keep in mind that this guy right here, in about a week, there will be a uh, event campaign for him. So, you know, that's a relatively uh, free-to-play friendly way of getting a new character release. Anyways, boy, we got to look at these Blitz scores here in just a minute. My goodness. Crowd Pleaser, Orb Offer, same thing. Uh, these, you know, at least worth three bucks a piece, but I'm, I'm just going to wait till the event campaign comes out. Deadly drone offer, yellow jacket. Yuck. Uh, you know, I did try to get yeah, my, myself, I targeted yellow jacket to get him to five gold just in case Pym tech is required for the next legendary. And I met that goal. Uh, but there's no way that I'm spending 30 bucks on 50 character shards, especially when ghost is the only real superstar winner out of that Pym tech team. Let's move on. If you're racing for level 80, this is a good deal. Silver promotion credits after 50. I don't understand their valuation on this. So basically for 30 bucks, you can take one single character from three to four. Or if you could buy this three times for 90 bucks and you can take one character from four to five, that's spending $90 to promote one character from four to five stars. No way. They've sold this before for three bucks and they've also quite regularly sell this for 15 bucks. Let's move on. Ooh, slingshot offer. Okay, Ebony Maw is tomorrow. And I will be getting a seven, uh, seven star Ebony Maw. I uh, have him at six star. Uh, so a lot of, you know, I personally am not gonna buy this because I've got Yo-Yo at six stars. And yes, it's just uh, 200 to, I'm not gonna spend $60 to get her up to that last star level. I'll just let her get there in like five years out of premium orbs or something like that. I'm just not gonna do it. Anyways, uh, do what you got to do. I think they're going to sell a lot of these. I mean, this is probably one of the only ways you really can get Yo-Yo up and running is by buying her. I mean, Premium Orb is not really farmable or anything. It's just 2% drop rate. Man, that never happens. No. Nope. Power Armor Team. Yeah, 20 bucks for 400 character shards. Reasonable valuation. Mega Orb, one, two, three, trash. No way. Five bucks tops. Also, I just want to point out artwork on this is very strange to me. Not in mega orbs, not in mega orbs, not in mega orbs, isn't mega orbs, isn't mega orbs. Boy, that's a uh, three out of five, not in that orb. Kind of strange artwork, if you ask me. Let's move on. Premium orb pack. At best, I value these at one dollar piece. These are kingpin orbs, which have tons of trading materials in it. Eleven dollars and then another three bucks does not add up to twenty five bucks. Let's move on. All right, I sell this. Sell this for 10 bucks and I'll buy it. Scopal next. At best, gold orbs are worth two bucks a piece. Eight bucks plus another two bucks is $10. No, 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 no. I would buy that. Pack of shame. Get out of my face forever now that there's Sim Blitz. I wonder what the drop, the cutoff's gonna be. I'm gonna look here in a minute. As soon as I get off uh, recording this, look at the Sim Blitz numbers for Yellow Jacket. I mean, I'm not a Blitzer and I got like 28 million or something. Boy, I imagine I'm not gonna get 1%. I'm expecting like 4% or something. We'll see. Let's move on. Power core deal. This is fine. If you need training materials, I'd like this a lot more of it came with 225 power cores or at least 200 power cores. Uh, again, this would be a good deal if it was five bucks. 
and I think we're in the trash area of the offers. Let's skip over to free to play account. So if this helps you unlock Ebony Ma, go for it. It's okay. It's an okay deal. All right, we talk, and we're gonna skip over all the offers that. Ooh, Vulture. 50 Vulture shards for two bucks. Yes, thank you for the microtransaction. I also want to point out that Vulture, member of Sinister Six, he can be used to unlock not only Invisible Woman, but Shuri. I don't use this guy anymore, though. I just don't really use him anymore. He's kind of homeless. I don't use him on my Doc Ock team. Anyways, let's move on. Hopefully they create a new Sinister Six team or give us another character to make two complete Sinister Six teams. Wouldn't that be nice? Elsa, uh, 45 shards for 20 bucks. I don't really see the need of this. It doesn't help you unlock a legendary character or anything like that. I think you can get her through normal means. Uh, Supernatural is a great offensive war team, but nothing special. Let's move on. Ooh, Strife. Strife is what a... Uh, uh, Blitz character, so I think you can get Strife relatively easily. Uh, but if you if the, if you need Strife, go for it. I guess 50, 75, or one hundred. I don't know. I think Blitz store characters you can just get him by normal ways. Ghost Rider, nah, same thing. I don't see the point. Maybe I don't see the point why they're selling this. I mean, just get him through normal normal means. Uh, the team doesn't help you progress towards a legendary or anything like that. So I don't see the point of spending twenty bucks for forty five shards. If you want to, go for it. I guess. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I like this. Uh, the reason why I like this one here, this is the one that I like. There's one that I don't like, and there's one that I do like. But the one that I don't like has the ability orbs in it. Red Star Orb worth about two bucks. Premium Orb worth about a buck. Training Orbs worth about two bucks. Basic Orb, sure, that's worth a buck. So uh, this is what Goofy calls a guppy snap. Go ahead and pick it up if that's what you want to do. Let's see. I bought that yesterday. All right, I think that about does it uh let me know what you think about that uh two bucks this is the only one that i'm not really sure on and i'll get back to you on the the iso weight pricing here in the next couple days when i get some valuations but i'm not really gonna recommend iso weights unless it's coming with tons of ions because that's where i find the shortfall on on the iso weight is on the ions all right let me know what you think in the comment section and as always thanks for watching keep on giving bye for now bye